here in the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 20 and in this video we are going to discuss about gamma function we will see the general formula for gamma function how to denote this some reduction formula and some important results by which we can solve problems based on this topic that is gamma function in the previous video that is in video number 19 we have discussed beta function in detail so let us start with gamma function so gamma function is denoted by this vertical line and this horizontal line okay this is how we denote gamma function let us see the general formula for gamma function the gamma function is defined as gamma of n is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x into x to the power n minus 1 dx okay this is the general formula for gamma function gamma of n is equals to integration limit is from 0 to infinity e to the power minus x into x to the power n minus 1 dx provided n is greater than 0 okay this is very important so this is the general formula for gamma function now we will put n equals to 1 so that we will get the value of gamma of 1 put n equals to 1 so this will be gamma of 1 is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x we have put n equals to 1 so x will be as it is into x to the power n minus 1 the n is 1 so 1 minus 1 d x now integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x this will become okay 1 minus 1 will become 0 so x to the power 0 wins 1 so this will be dx now integrating this will be e to the power minus x upon minus 1 limit goes from 0 to infinity okay now we can take this negative this will be 1 upon e to the power x limit is from 0 to infinity minus on putting the upper limit this will be 1 upon e to the power infinity minus lower limit e to the power 0 okay now e to the power infinity means infinity that is a very 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 large value 1 upon infinity means 0 so this term will become 0 e to the power 0 means 1 so minus 1 into minus that will become positive so from here you can say that is gamma of 1 is equals to 1 this is an important result okay gamma of 1 is equals to 1 fine now we will see the reduction formula for gamma of n reduction formula for gamma n okay so we will try to find gamma n plus 1 that is on putting n equals to n plus 1 so this is 0 to infinity e to the power minus x here when here is n here it is n minus 1 but here is n plus 1 so here it will be n x to the power n plus 1 minus 1 okay here it is n so here we have n here we have n plus 1 so here we have n plus 1 minus 1 okay so negative neg negative positive will cancel out what is left that is integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x into x to the power n dx now we will solve this by eyelet form okay that is i l a t e eyelet eyelet form i stands for inverse L stands for logarithmic, A stands for algebraic, T stands for trigonometric, E stands for exponential. If you see this, this is exponential and this is algebraic. So according to Eilert rule, this is my, this will be my first function and this will be my second function because this is algebraic and this is exponential. Now we will integrate this. So first function, integration second function that is e to the power 
माइनस एक्स अपॉन माइनस वन ओके माइनस इंटीग्रेशन डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ दिस दैट इज एन इंटू एक्स टू पावर एन माइनस वन इंटीग्रेशन दिस फंक्शन दैट इज ई टू पावर माइनस एक्स अपॉन माइनस वन डी एक्स लिमिट गोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ओके नाउ हियर इफ यू सी इफ यू पुट हियर वी हैव टू टर्म्स दिस इज माई फर्स्ट टर्म दिस इज माई सेकेंड टर्म इफ यू पुट अपर लिमिट एंड लोअर लिमिट फॉर दिस टर्म बोथ विल बिकम जीरो हाउ इफ यू पुट द अपर लिमिट हियर ओके इफ यू पुट द अपर लिमिट हियर हियर यू कैन सी ऑन पुटिंग द अपर लिमिट फर्स्ट टर्म बिकेम जीरो ओके सो ऑन पुटिंग अपर लिमिट दिस विल बिकम जीरो and on putting lower limit in place of x will put zero then the whole term will become zero so on putting upper limit and lower limit in both the cases first term will become zero so what is left that is second so here you can say negative negative will become positive and we can take this n out of this integration so n integration limit is from zero to infinity okay we can write this that is e to the power minus x What is left here? That is x to the power n minus one dx. What is this? This is nothing but your general formula for gamma n. Okay, so we can write this as. So here we can say. This is what. This is n, n times this is gamma n. Okay, so here we have an important result which may be asked in the uh, exam also. That is prove that gamma of n plus one. Is equals to n times gamma n. This is very very important result. Okay, many times you will find this in your exams. Now after this we will try to find values of gamma n in terms of factorial. Values of gamma n in terms of factorial you need to know this because while solving problem you need to find the value of values of various uh, values of gamma okay so if you want to find gamma of 2 that is equals to that is equals to 1 into gamma 1 how by using this form okay gamma 2 means gamma of 1 plus 1 what is n that is 1 so this will be 1 into Gamma one, okay. And what is this? This is the value of factorial one. Similarly, if you want to find gamma three, this is two into gamma two, and this is the value of factorial two. Similarly, you can find the value for gamma four, which is equal to three into gamma three, which is again equal to factorial three. So from here you can say gamma n is equal to factorial n minus one. Where n is a positive integer. Okay, this result is very, very, very important. Fine. Now we'll find. I'm writing this directly. That is value of gamma half. Value of gamma half. This is equals to root pi. Okay. Similarly, if you want to know what is the value of gamma of three upon two, this is half into root pi. Similarly, if you want to know what is the value of gamma five upon two, this is three upon three upon two, three upon two into one upon two into root pi. Similarly, if you want to know the value of gamma seven upon two, that is five upon two into three upon two into one upon two into root pi this is how you can find the other values also okay there is one important thing that is what is the value of root pi this is equals to 1 1.772 okay this is the value of root pi that is root pi is equals to 1.772 now last very 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 important okay there is a standard result that we will use while solving problems on Gamma function, very 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 important result. Integration zero to pi by two sine theta power m into cos 
theta power n d theta that means we are integrating this with respect to theta and the limit of theta goes from 0 to pi by 2 this is equals to gamma of m plus 1 upon 2 gamma of n plus 1 upon 2 whole upon twice gamma of m plus n plus 2 upon 2 we are going to use this formula directly okay whenever it is required so thank you thank you so much for this video